Longford's uh, synonymous with racing. You mentioned that you're from Longford, Tasmania, and people say, oh, that's where the motor racing was. It's well known, and it's great that it's, um, we're reliving some of those memories today. People have dreamed about doing something at Longford for 43 years, ever since the track closed, to, to revive the memories. And we used to come here and have a bit of a play years ago, and thought, wouldn't it be great to close the road and, uh, and relive the golden days of Longford, and it's really grown out of that. There'll be lots of demonstrations and, and lots of cars and, and memories and drivers, as well as all the other associated interesting things as well that motor racing enthusiasts would like to see. Going to Goodwood for a few years and seeing what they do there, that, that's really provided the vision. Plenty of people have tried to do a Goodwood style thing, but I, you know, I think it's probably equal to anything that's been tried in Australia before, and hopefully in the years to come it'll be bigger and bigger. be so much more than the old cars and bikes. They're a great component of them, they're the foundation for a fantastic event. But the younger generations need things that appeal to them. And so, you know, it always had to be more than that. And I think, you know, we've got late model Lamborghinis and Porsches and Mustangs and all sorts of weird and wonderful cars uh, that have just provided an all-round uh, festival for, for people that are not only into cars, but just have a passing interest in cars. It's really great to be here and participate in all the, the buzz of what's happening. Um, all the sounds and the smells and, and you know, the, the revving and the, and the enthusiasm and all the participants and, and the memories. Everyone's having a great time, we've had a fantastic crowd, you know, it's families, it's 60s, it's, it's everything we, we wanted to achieve. It's a hell of a lot more exciting than a motor show because um, you literally see cars go you know, 250 kilometres an hour here, unlike uh, you know, the Melbourne Motor Show or whatever. Um, so, you know, the, the exhibitors obviously need people, but I think, you know, generally they've been very happy um, with what they got out of the first one. We thank them dearly for taking the chance. It was, everyone had to share our vision. We had nothing to really sell to them. And I think, you know, the exhibitors we've got, we're very happy with the wines and quality Tasmania. It's all about the quality and providing an experience that's not, you know, standard fare these days with most events. It's, it's all about quality, not so much about quantity. We thought the uh, Flying Mile would be not very exciting for drivers and we said to them, just put on a show. Man, it's a wild ride over a kilometre. It's uh, in these sorts of cars, you know, 230 plus on that road is just unbelievable. <laughs>